Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs. It is Tuesday, the last day of February, year of our Lord, 2023. Welcome, everyone. Good to be here with you on Tuesday, 2 for Tuesday, Tuesday Facebook Live. Put a little post it up there. So, welcome, everyone, to. Facebook Live here today. We're going to have an awesome Facebook Live. I can feel it, and I'm going to let the live populate. Then I'll move into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. I've got a brand new polo on here today. Barbara Williams, good to see you this afternoon. The topic for today's Facebook Live is the power of belief. Heather, good to see you this afternoon. Twana, good to see you. Two for Tuesday. It's the last day of February 2023. Remember four years ago, the pandemic hadn't even started yet, and the Super Bowl had just finished, and here we are four years later in a whole different world. David Harris, thank you, Heather. Good to see you here this afternoon. Good to see all of you here this afternoon. It is two for Tuesday. I've had a very productive morning, and I'm going to have a very productive the rest of the day. Barbara says she believes in me and thank you for giving me life. You are welcome, Barbara. That is Barbara Williams, who has been my client since 1999. Welcome, everyone. It's good to be here with you. Topic for today's Facebook Live is the power of belief. In the late 80s, I purchased the book Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Chapter 4 is the power of belief. And he covers what belief is in that chapter. That was what Robin's first book. And he covers a belief is a sense of certainty. It can also be a sense of uncertainty. That would be disbelief. In belief, the belief that you are good enough, the belief that you are capable, the belief that you are in your power is a belief that will transmute energy that says I'm good enough. When you're in disbelief, not belief, that is doubt. And when you live in doubt, you will transmute anxiety, fear, and then the emotions would be anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, apathy, and pride. Those are the emotions that you will transmit telepathically, either emotionally or unconsciously. And the, one of the beliefs that most people live in is that they are not good enough. Now, every one of you on this Facebook Live are either cross the bridge of transformation or in that process of transforming yourself. You may have been through challenging relationships, careers, jobs, businesses that can alter your beliefs, or you could be in a business that is empowering your belief, or you're becoming yourself, empowering yourself. And that belief is certainty, I am good enough. And in that belief, then you can be honest, you understand the truth, you're not in denial, and you're able to transmute energy from love, joy, bliss. I'm good enough. I'm capable. I can lead you. Doubt is the breakdown of a lot of people's success because they doubt that they can be successful. They doubt they can change. They doubt that they can have a healthy relationship. They doubt that they can give up alcohol. They doubt that they can give up codependent relationships. Doubt is what keeps people in the payoff. The payoff means recreating the same situation to fulfill the same set of feelings. So if you're, if you're being attentive to what's going on in the world, it's going to be your responsibility to believe in God and to believe in self and to believe in creator and to believe that no matter what is happening in today's world, that you will find ways to thrive. You will find ways to adapt and adjust to the situation. That's one of the most fundamental foundational beliefs that you require right now in spite and despite of all circumstances, that you are good enough, that you can navigate, that you can adapt and adjust to whatever happens. Perhaps you've heard of the 15-minute cities, electric replacing gas, all of the other situations that you've encountered, torrential rainstorms and snowstorms that you've never seen before, and ice storms and other situations, your resolve is being tested. And in that belief, that you come from an energy that says, I am good enough. That is power. And you will not succumb to tyranny. You will not succumb to Satan. You will not to succumb to any of the pleasures that lead to pain. So binge eating, alcohol, 
multiple situations that will lead to dulling the senses and altering the mood. In belief, you don't require any outside influence, even relationships, because you are good enough. Relationships can empower your belief, but your belief can withstand any situation that it comes to you because you are good enough. Now, this is the syllabus for today's Facebook Live. This is what I email out every day before Monday, the power of belief. And there's always seven bullet points that I cover. Here they are right here. Sense of certainty, living in uncertainty, four phases of belief. So the in being in certainty, that means you know. You K-N-O-W, not N-O, but you know. And in a no state, you're able to know in the now, you know. And if someone questions you, you're able to answer, I know, because you believe. And you don't have to validate, justify, or explain yourself to someone who's a non-believer. And non-believers, ideally, it's going to be best most of the time to be able to diplomatically disengage from a conversation, have clear boundaries, not be in conflict with someone who's a non-believer, not try and seduce or convince someone who is angry, and not prove you're right in a situation even if you are right. Oftentimes it's best to breathe release and let people go. The separation between the feelings and the events that shape them. So you can transmit that joy, you can transmit that bliss, you can be in conscious energy, you can be in certainty, you can be in the know. Now, many people ask me this one question over and over. How do I? How do I? The technical know-how question. How do I? The question becomes, why don't you? And oftentimes the answer is, I don't believe in myself. I'm not good enough. I don't have all the data, all the information. I don't have all the surveys. I don't have the technical proof. I don't have the documentation. I don't have other people's endorsements. I mean, this is where many people will come from. I, and if you can let this go, if you can separate your feelings from the events that shape this noise, if you can let this story go, if you can let go of having to have all the details and all the data and believe that you're good enough and believe that you'll figure it out and believe that the water will part and believe that God will show up or any multitude of beliefs then you will find a way one day at a time. You will adapt and adjust. Now, most of the world does not do this. They want certainty. They want a sign. They want a clue. They want a psychic. They want someone to lead the way for them. And there, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's finding someone who can give you insight and wisdom. But it's also important that you're able to be in a no state where you believe. You will figure it out. You will find the solution. The, you, the universe will have your back. You're able to let go without knowing all the details, knowing that you will find your way. So the four phases of belief. So there is disbelief. That's where many people are. That is dis meaning not, not believable. They don't believe it. And then there, and that also is, then that leads to possible is the second belief. And some people live in the possible. It's possible, that's the doubt. It's possible, but... There's a, poss there's a possibility, but there's a possibility that I'll find a soulmate. There's a possibility that I'll be able to pay my bills. The possibility is uncertainty. Then there is probable. Now, in probable, it's a higher level of energy, but it's not, it's not completely over the bridge. In probable, you've accessed courage. Courage is not an emotion. Courage is a quality. It means you're accessing the courage to persevere. You're accessing the courage to be relentless. You don't, you don't know the outcome, but you're, you're moving higher into consciousness about certainty. And then the fourth phase of certainty is definite. It's definitely. You will not be denied. You have a definite of purpose. You know that no matter what the circumstances are, that you will give your best effort. And in that space, in that state of consciousness, you become non-attached, indefinite, D-E at define, at the definition of. So you're able to have clarity in that situation in a non-attached state. And in the non-attached state, you're able to operate in a very relaxed body, 
not giving power away to someone who's using force to ask you to be their counterforce, or someone who's trying to seduce you into conflict, or to validate, justify, or explain yourself. You're able to easily and effortlessly let go. You're able to breathe and release. And you're able to use affirmations. You, you believe in the outcome. You believe in the affirmation. You believe in your words. You believe in the universe. You believe in God. And even if you don't have the favorable outcome, that doesn't mean that your belief still can't be certain. If you don't receive the outcome that you sought, and even though you believed you would attain it, in a non-attached state, you're able to easily and effortlessly let go and either start over, persevere, forge forward, or continue on, or adapt and adjust. And if you have to reinvent yourself, so be it. And in that state of belief, what you believe in is yourself. And you believe you're good enough. And if you don't have an ideal situation, if the outcome isn't perfect, if it isn't on your time frame, in a state of definite of purpose, you're able to adapt and adjust and be back on course relatively quickly while still being human. We're still experiencing some feelings of let down or didn't happen or whatever the situation is, but you're able to persevere in a relaxed body without self-talk that is limiting. If you're critical of yourself, that means you don't believe in yourself. If other people are critical of you and it's not merited, it means they don't believe in you. Now, if, you're, if you believe in yourself, you can let go of those people without a story. You won't get into a story, but that's my family. That's my, that's my sister. That's my brother. You would think that. So in belief, they, their opinions don't matter. Because in true belief, you're humble. And in that humility, you're so humble that you cannot be humiliated. So if someone attempts to provoke you into conflict or provoke you into explaining yourself, in belief, you know your certainty and you know that it's not going to matter what you say to someone who is provoking you into an argument. You know that you're, you believe in yourself enough not to get seduced by a narcissist, by a passive-aggressive perpetrator violator, someone who wants to prove you wrong, someone, someone who wants to drag you in to their drama and their chaos, you're able to easily and effortlessly breathe and release and let go. Breathe and release. It's one of the most important affirmations that I use for myself because I, you, in, in belief, you can experience feelings of anger. You can experience feelings of of pain. You can experience feelings of rejection and abandonment. In belief, you're able to accept the feelings and believe that you can persevere, believe that you can move right back into your energy. In that belief, you're able to breathe and release and let go because you know you're good enough. You know that you'll create outcomes while not being attached to specific outcomes that don't pan out, that don't play out. So then in that belief, you believe in yourself so much that you're the, sh the core of your foundation, your emotional foundation, does not get rocked by what appears to be failures. And you no longer sabotage yourself in that belief. And in a belief in yourself, you can make amends to people when you believe in yourself, even though you made a mistake. And that mistake won't rob you of the joy of life, or it won't rob you of the experience, because you can humbly, in humility, admit you made a mistake in belief and know that it was a simple error in judgment. The great Jim Rohn was famous for that sta statement, errors in judgment. Jim Rohn was also famous for pennies in your pockets, zero in your bank account, creditors calling, it's time to change your philosophy. I had the privilege of sharing the stage on five different occasions with Jim Rohn and interviewed him on two of my podcasts back in the day. Great content. I still listen to some of his content and read some of his books. Sense of certainty. So that certainty is no. I know. I know I'm in the right place. I know I am the person for the task. I know I am good enough. I know I can let go on command. So knowing is K-N-O-W-I-N-G. Knowing is in the space of truth. Because when you know, you'll see a picture of a celebrity and you know what that picture means. You know the symbolism. You know the colors. You know what's going on behind the veil. And when you see someone in the mainstream media, 
You know what they mean. You know, it's not just what they say, it's what do they mean. And when you start to understand the term controlled opposition, you know when someone's attempting to play the world or play the audience, and you're not seduced by the seduction. You're able to see through the veil because you believe in yourself enough that you trust yourself and you trust your inner knowing. It's one of the biggest downfalls of most of the population. They don't have an inner no button. They don't know how to turn on the I-N-N-E-R-K-N-O-W inner no button. They require someone else's opinion. They require proof. They require documentation. They require validation. They require justification. And they want to know, where did you get that? How do you know that's true? So they don't believe you. And if they don't believe you, that doesn't matter because you don't care. You're not attached to their belief. In your belief, you attract people who believe what you believe. And that sense of certainty attracts patriots, comrades, people of like mind, people who understand what goes on behind the veil, people who are in affluence and influence. And as you attract people who believe what you believe, provided you believe in yourself, if you, if you don't believe in yourself, the people you attract will also not believe in themselves because they will be in a similar sense of uncertainty. This is why many relationships are set up to fail because two lost souls come together who are codependent or addicted, not really understanding the cause that creates the effect of why they do what they do. And they're two left shoes and they try to fit together without really understanding that both of them are in an emotionally intoxicated state. And this is why it's important as you're in recovery that you're not attached to people and you're able to be in a non-attached state where you can fully operate in life without setting yourself up to be abandoned and rejected, without being angry at other people for your own feelings, without intoxicating yourself on someone that's going to be a really good person and then you disappoint yourself because there's a payoff to your disappointment. When you're able to easily and effortlessly, so that's right, Pamela, it can be very subconscious. I've experienced myself being in trauma bond relationships, attracting narcissists, even though I'm in recovery. I mean, that was part of my early recovery was understanding how codependent I was, not really understanding that in the first 20 years of my recovery, the depth of my codependency. I began my codependent recovery on December 6, 2009. And that's where I started to realize how much of an enabler I was in intimate relationships, how much I would over obligate myself, how much of a rescuer I was. And there were step means that there were, I still didn't believe I was good enough to have an intimate relationship. And this happens to many people across the planet. It's like they're super successful over here, but in their intimate relationships, they're out of, they're out of balance in it, or they have great relationships, but they under earn and underachieve and stay in struggle, struggle mode and trauma bonds and panic patterns and stay in an overwhelmed state. As you move through the impossible into the possible state, into the probable, and you move into definite of purpose, you are unequivocally letting go. Earl, thank you very much for that, for that edification. Earl Teach just edified my book, The Breakthrough Factor. It's a real treat for a book he enjoyed. It was very much love the cards too. Thank you, says Earl. Thank you very much, Earl. I do appreciate you being here on today's Facebook Live GMS podcast. Now, I've covered this topic, belief, many, many times. And the reason I continue to cover it is because of the impact that belief has on your energy, the impact of how what your beliefs attract. So if you don't believe you're good enough, or if you don't believe you deserve a relationship, or if you're not sure if, and you can fill in that blank, you're not sure if you can create money on your own, you're not sure if you can pass the insurance test, you're not sure if you can ever sell a house as a real estate agent, so that uncertainty will keep your foot on the boat and the foot on the dock, and that energy is called doubt. And that will keep you living in your head processing, thinking, analyzing, evaluating, justifying, validating, and explaining. And unfortunately, that's where many people live. If you're on today's Facebook Live, today is a day to be in your sense of certainty. Today is unequivocally to be in the definite of purpose. It is definite you will not be denied. 
It doesn't matter. You're not attached to the outcome. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter what you go through. You're attached to the solution and the results, not the outcome. And as you live in that state of, of consciousness, as you live in that state of awareness, as you live in that state of purpose, when you know your purpose, and many people get confused purpose with grandiosity. They, they, they've been led to believe they have to do this big, purposeful thing that's going to impact the planet. Okay, you, it's possible you can impact the planet, but you want to find a simple purpose that inspires you. What inspires you? I mean, that in that belief, when you, or you're in that belief of inspiration, then you will transmit energy of love, joy, bliss, in a very relaxed body. Kevin, good to see you this afternoon. Heidi, good to see you. And in that energy of belief, that sense of certainty, the definite of purpose, the state of consciousness where you're not attached to the outcome and you're living in the solution, you're one day at a time recreating emotional habits that are empowering, meet, leading by example, meeting people where they are, not being attached to the outcome, letting people go in situations easily and effortlessly, not processing, thinking, and analyzing, and staying in your head, trying to figure it out. You're in action. You're in production. You're in results in a relaxed body. And then you're able to relax with no guilt. You're able to be here and be now. You're able to be in conversations with people. You can spend quality time with your wife or husband being purposeful rather than worrying about something you did or didn't do because in belief, you know that you are good enough and you are here and you are now. If you're watching this Facebook Live and you're new to my content, thank you for joining me this afternoon. It is the last day of February 2023. It is my absolute privilege and pleasure to be here with you on this last day of February in the year of our Lord 2023. If you'd like to find out more about my coaching services, add on to your existing coaching or connect with me as a former client about my value proposition for former clients, feel free to go to my Facebook Messenger, send me a message, and I'll respond to you in within an hour. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. The topic for today's Facebook Live is the power of belief, sense of certainty. Cheryl Lynn, thank you for joining. James, thank you for joining. I'm going to hit the record button, and it will be available for playback. You have a great afternoon.